gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skin. Here we've got a special little crate. There's been another sale on Loot Crate. They're trying to get rid of their old stock. So I bought myself another mystery crate. This is a mystery. We have no idea what's inside it. I'm excited. Okay, so what we got? 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 Oh, hang on. This is a bit weird. So normally you actually feel them flip open and take from the top. This one's got a little bit slightly different. Huh. Maybe it's just one of their older crates. So let's flip. Okay. So immediately the stuff that we see is familiar. Okay, let's take the t-shirt and take it out to the wide. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is another episode of Loot Crate here on Past Teacher Skin. And of course we're doing a mystery crate. So it's going to be a random combination of stuff. Um, if I can remember the thing is, because I've been getting Loot Crate now for... Oh god, it's been what, nearly six months? Uh, uh, I'm starting to get really familiar with all the content from previous crates. And of course, this month's... Uh, T-shirt from the mystery crate is one that I already have. It's the Optimus Prime one from the cyber crate. Yes! This is a weird irony because I own, I think I own maybe four Transformers T-shirts including this one in my entire life. And the first one I had was actually not even a Transformers T-shirt, it was a, a T-shirt for the band Ash that had Optimus Prime on it. Uh, because they had a whole thing about Mecha and they were kind of like they're into cartoons and 80s culture and stuff. And the T-shirt had Optimus Prime in the front of it and heavy fucking metal written on the back. And I own two of those because I bought them at a concert that I went to years ago. And weirdly ironic, it was now the fact that I've got the Tron Prime t-shirt. I've got another one of these for wearing, which is great. I mean, I don't, I don't intend to be a trans fan. It just happens. And it's just telling me that I need to keep watching this show. Why not? Um, if anybody's been watching the new Transformers show Robots in Disguise, it doesn't have Optimus Prime as the main hero in it. It's actually Bumblebee who's now the upgraded hero. And I think it follows on from the Transformers Prime series that actually uh, went on to Beast Wars. I think so. They kind of like they went and retconned the history of Transformers, or was it Beast Hunters? I think it might have been called. A good series for a couple of years. I I recommend it just for the fact that it's a CGI Transformers that's better than the CGI in the movies. And of course, we've had a recent poster teaser for the new Transformers where they're going to bring back Megatron. Which, people are saying they're bringing back Megatron. Megatron died. We're literally probably going to get the Unicron story, finally. And that means we're going to have Galvatron. Which, is going to be weird because we already had Leonard Nimoy in as Sentinel Prime. Unless, they take Sentinel Prime's body, what's left of it, and take what's left of Megatron's body, what's left of it, combine them together and end up with this kind of like, the same as the Ratchet Megatron split personality two bodies in one story that they did at one point. Which was surreal in the comics, but um, also very interesting because it gave them essentially an idea that they were at uh, conflict with each other in some way, shape or form. So what else is in the crate here? Well, let's take it out and take it out, because we can see it really easily, so we might as well just point out. We've got ourselves a Han Solo snow gear figure. The Star Wars figure that came out with um, Gala Galaxy. I think that was a Galaxy crate. Um, I would have been happy if it had been any other figure. Just because I have Han sitting back here. And I don't know if I want to have a clone of him sitting looking at each other. So there probably will be a little giveaway to get your sellings on a little Han Solo snow gear figure. Um, do you guys want it? Comment underneath the video, and uh, I'll tell you how we're going to do it in the future video, because I have no idea what we're going to do just yet. But yeah, I don't even want to take this one out of the box, because I already have one. So, yeah. Not too concerned. I'm not annoyed about that. It's like, mystery crate. I knew, and I already, I've been getting every crate for the last six months. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have overlaps in some way, shape, or form. So, next one. We've got a little squeezy. Ugh, Hearthstone. Stress ball. Because I hit getting bad balls in my deck. Um, the stress ball is kind of cool. I've got one of these, I've been, I've, so whenever I'm sitting doing knuckle exercise, because one of the things I've found as I've gotten older is that I don't have the dexterity or speed that I would have had whenever I was a kid playing video games. Like, the thumb's still good, but the rest of the fingers, uh, I, I, I just feel like they're seasoned up over time. I think it's just years of being on a computer tapping and typing and uh, injuring them over the years, doing blacksmithing and that kind of thing. So I've essentially injured my hands enough times that being able to build up my grip strength and work up with a nice little figure like this, now I can double fist it. Yeah! I think I almost destroyed that squeezing it that hard. But yeah, that's what it is. It's another Hearthstone little squeezy fig. Good. Putting you to the side. Right, what is our last big object inside the crate? Ties! Ties! Do you know what? I'm not a, a tie person. Only because uh, I don't wear shirts and suits that often either. 
But, um, I gotta appreciate a nice Space Invaders tie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a couple of friends of mine who would actually kill to have this tie. Because it's, like, it's a fairly skinny one. It's a very modern skinny style to the tie. Uh, right. I, I don't know about, I feel like the texture of it. And it's a very short length to it as well. I mean, essentially, if I put this on, I'm going to have to actually put it really low down. So, because I've got a fairly wide neck as it is. The thing, all the thing with not wearing ties is because I have a beard, and every time I go to tie a tie, I have to lift my head up so goddamn high to stop myself from catching my own beard doing it. So, let's see how this looks on me. I was a skater boy, said see you later boy. <laughs> Sorry. Just, it just feels like a bit skit punkish to be wearing this stupid thing. Or a bowl for my valentine or something like that. Uh, other things that I probably offend people by saying that I don't fucking like them. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got in here. We got a air freshener, Star Trek. Oh, I, I know exactly who I'm giving this to. And you know who you are as well. Steven, this is yours. <laughs> Steven, you're, uh, uh, unless you already have one, this is going to you. I wonder if it smells like. Does it smell like Spock fingers? Don't want to know. <laughs> Alright, so that's a Star Trek air freshener for your car. Let's see, does it actually say anything about... I can't smell anything through the bag. Oh, it's vanilla flavored. Vanilla flavored Spock fingers. That is a culinary treat. <laughs> that should be in one of these books as an actual example of something you can uh, cook up for yourself. What else we got in here? We got another Star oh, Superman Batman uh, paper wallet, which um, I've used the other one. And it does threaten or challenge you to try and rip it. I have not been able to tear this goddamn thing apart. It's um, well made. It's, it's a Superman Batman wallet. Probably better made than the actual movie, which is kind of impressive. Um, I recommend that it's uh, like those paper wallets. You can look online for them. The, I can't remember the name of them because I'm not going. I'm not going to open this one. Just get the piece of paper from the inside. I'll go and probably look them up and throw them up here in the corner. But uh, yeah, the uh, paper wallets are pretty nice. They're they're well made. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't use them on a regular basis. I would use them, say, for if I'm going to a festival or whatever. And I didn't want to destroy the one that I already had, so I would use that instead. So, what we got here? A book of Mad Libs. Spy Mad Libs. The world's greatest word game. A super silly way to fill in the bollocks. Um, yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was me just playing the game. It's a book of Mad Libs. Uh, this is a much more American thing than over here. I don't know, a free Mad Libs app available now. <laughs> you scan it on the back of it. You know what, actually? Here, you want a free Mad Libs app? There you go, guys. You can scan from the video. I'm all the bit, you can just hold up your phone. Like, who bloody uses QR codes really most of the time? But there you go, there's a free app for you to download. You can work away. But yeah, it's a spy themed Mad Libs book. I'm assuming this came in the spy box from a few months back. Um, no, that's something that I'm massively concerned about. So, of course, because this is a. <laughs> um, Mystery crate. <laughs> My brain just completely blank there for a second. Because it's a mystery crate, there's no pen, there's no booklet, there's nothing else. It's just a couple of objects. Now, the crate they did end up going with was this one. They, I mean, I'm sure they actually have a number of ones they were using. Uh, this is the Crate Pack Simulator 2015, where it actually tells you how to... It's a board game, where you can actually play with the rules. Um, I'm sure there's actually a rule set on how to play it. Instructions on the last page of the magazine, which of course wasn't in this. So, um, if you know the rules to this game, Feel free to send me a message and give me a shot and tell me how, but um, I'm sure it's just a, a dice game where you actually have to actually put things into the pallets and then move them across so you have weak counters for them. Um, I probably won't ever play this as a board game. Um, yeah, so this has been the Mystery Crate from Loot Crate. I like their Mystery Crates because sometimes you get something that you missed out on. I mean, I missed out on the um, this tie and missed out on... Actually, the Mad Libs. So literally, that's the only two things that I didn't have already, and uh, that's, I'm not I'm not upset by it because it was a seal. I mean, it was on a seal. It was a cheap item. It was reasonably nice, and um, it arrived. <laughs> it, it arrived. That's the biggest thing I can say. It showed up after I paid the money for it. The, I'm happy with the Prime T-shirt because I do wear the other one I, as much as I wear any of the clothes I get from. Uh, loot crate now because it's, it's, it's shocking. I, I live my entire life without wearing branded clothing generally. I don't have like no logos, just plain blacks, unless it actually had a cartoon occasionally on it. But I, I stayed away from actual like branding, branding, you know, like Puma and Adidas and whatever other sportswear other people were wearing. 
and I'm continuing on that trend just by wearing geek wear, but I'm, my entire closet is just filled with these geek shirts now, uh, so I, I can't avoid not wearing them because I just don't, I'm not going to waste clothing and not bother wearing them. I'm not going to throw them out or anything. Um, black tie, uh, black tie geek. That's actually the people who did the uh, this tie. I like it. I, I like their work. Um, I if I if I had to wear a shirt now to an interview, I'd probably wear a tie like this to go along with it. Um, but like I said, it does it does smack of that kind of like skater boy aesthetic or that kind of like skate punk uh, look of the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, I don't know if it's for me, but uh, I'm sure other people will really enjoy it. So this has been this has been the uh, mystery crate from Loot Crate for. Uh, this month for the summer like they, they do them seasonally so I'm sure we'll have another one for autumn winter if there's anything here that you have any more questions about of course give it a shout, give it a shout in the comments like comment subscribe and all the other things that you do love to do whenever you're here on the channel and make sure to check out the other videos available there's always that little card up here in the corner that you can check out and click on and it'll probably bring up a few suggestions of other things you can check out not just the playlist for Loot Crate but also for any of the most recent videos that have been posted up which do come up on a regular basis on Wednesdays and Saturdays and all other videos are just bonuses if I can make those two days I'm a happy man so if you're watching this on any day other than a Wednesday on a Saturday well done you caught the bonus <laughs> So I will give you a shout in the future and probably a vlog about how I'm going to get rid of my little Han Solo and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye